Throughout your time at UNCG, you might be looking for book reviews on novels, some contemporary fiction. So for this video, we are going to look at a specific UNCG database that can help you find literary criticism for your assignment, specifically Literary Reference Center. This database includes full text literary criticism, biographical information, and author interviews, reviews, and plot synopsis. It also includes definitions of literary terms and a great literary historical timeline. Let's start with accessing Literary Reference Center. The easiest way to access this database is starting with the UNCG Library homepage. From here, we're going to go to Databases in the red catalog box at the top of the library.uncg.edu homepage. And then we can find the Literary Reference Center under L. Be sure to access this database through this method instead of the Googling the database. This database works through a UNCG Libraries Proxy, where you will need to log in to get access off campus, so going through the library webpage is important. This link also brings us directly to an advanced search feature, which you can use to search for book reviews, including trade publications, trade reviews, popular reviews, and scholarly literary criticism. You will need to know basic information about your book in order to perform a successful search, such as the title, author, and publication date. For this search, I'm going to look for reviews on The Book Thief by Marcus Zuza, published in 2005. To start the search, I'm going to put in The Book Thief into the first field and let's see what happens when I click search. Here I get 190 results. If we look to the left, we can notice different ways that we can refine our search. Notice that we have different limiters, which would get us different results. But I also notice that this search is bringing in results from 1975 to 2017. Remember that The Book Thief was published in 2005, which means this search is bringing up results for books or reviews that are not relevant. Now I'm going to go up to the search fields again and add in the author's name. When I search for these two things together, you can see that it narrows my results to 46. And when I look at the publication date on the left, I'm getting results from 2006 to 2015. Now I know I'm on the right track. When I scroll through the results, I can see the type of review through the icon, such as review, periodical, academic journal, and more. Notice that there are many limiters on the left, such as limiting to scholarly or peer-reviewed journals, different source types such as magazine, reviews, reference books, biographies, and literary criticisms, and even by the subject and publication. When I click on a title that I am interested in, notice that I can download a full copy of the PDF, look at other subject terms that might be useful when I'm searching for topics on this book, read through the abstract, which will tell me about what will be included in this article. I can also print, email, cite, and get a permalink for this article, or permanent link that won't change. Please remember to get a permalink instead of the link at the top. This link at the top will change because it's a session link, whereas this one will stay permanent. Notice you can also get a citation for this resource in different citation styles, but it's not perfect. So remember to check over your citation that you're copying before you turn in your works cited or a bibliography.